You're on the cover of Life magazine. <laughs> yes, with a face like that, you'll find a husband in a couple of months. Oh. Is he? Who are we making this igloo for? Is it for the homeless man across the street? It's okay. It's me. Just give me the knife. Okay. I was asking if you're a writer. Um, on my better days? You're in a mental hospital, surrounded by a bunch of whack jobs, and this is one of your better days? I should hope not. Writing about this place? Trying to. Has not already been done? Let me ask you. Does it surprise you that something like 90% of the people in here are some sort of artist? Everybody's got something. Schizophrenic? Bipolar? <gasps> Major douchebag. What about you? Suicidal. What are you doing? Nothing. You know, for someone who's not observant, you have a lot of questions. All right. I've got one father in the ground, and the other one can't keep his hands off me. Mom's lost in a bottle. I guess Dad dying really fucked her up. So yeah, I tend to have bad thoughts. A handful of pills, and voila. I curled in on myself like a bug trapped in amber to wish for heavy roses, crimsons, and raindrops like rubies to wash the dirt from my eyes. These days I dream of crushing red cherry that suffocates blooms like flowers on a headstone.